So, uh, so this class we will uh, introduce something called uh, a gas table. Okay, so this is the uh, table. So, I will write down the details so that you can buy this. Okay. By SM, yeah, here, sixth edition. You can also look for uh, the latest edition if you want. New Age International. Publishers, and this is uh, year two thousand eleven. Okay. So at present, we have disc going to discuss only something called the isentropic tables, which is uh, typically. What we have seen, P naught by P, T naught by T, rho naught by rho, then uh, A by A star, etc. Function of Mach number and your uh, ratio of specific heat. So if I know this ratio, I can find the Mach number, or if I know the Mach number, I can find P naught. So the examples uh, that we have done before, say for example, if my P naught is uh, 1.4 for a fluid of So, in this book the ratios are given uh, so let us take P by P naught to be 0 0.74. If I have a, a state 1 where my P 1 by P naught 1 is given by this value and this is undergoing some process where it reaches 2. Okay. So, if I know this ratio, I can essentially get my Mach number from this relation which we have already derived. So, that Mach number in this book is going to be 0 0.66 for gamma equals 1.4. So, if I have a variable uh, area duct, if I know the stagnation and static pressure, I can find the Mach number here at 1 and Mach number here at 2. Okay. Now, if the flow is isentropic, so the process of uh, uh, fluid at 1 going to a stagnation point, the imaginary process that we have already assumed to be isentropic, in addition to that we are assuming the entire flow to be isentropic, then in the TS diagram you would get state 1 going to state 2 in a straight line here, so that there is no entropy change. The stagnation point here at 1 is 0 1 and that associated with 2 is 0 2. Since it has been isentropic and there is no heat and no shaft work, we know that T 0 1 equals T 0 2 
and P01 equals P02. So, if I assume that my P01 here is same as P02 for this entire process if the flow is isentropic. Which means if I know this ratio, we can get the associated Mach numbers and if I know the uh, one value of uh, uh, stagnation pressure which is same across uh, the along the streamline, I can find the pressures at each of those. And if I know the pressure pressure ratio, I get my Mach number or I can even get my ratios of uh, temperature or my A by A star. What does A by A star tell you? If I know the area here, this A star would tell you how much it has to reduce to get M equals 1 and since it is isentropic, we know A star 1 equals A star or the A star along the stream uh, uh, along the uh, stream wise direction or this direction where the flow is because this is assumed 1 D. The A star or each of these sections are going to be the same because we have assumed isentropic which is something which we have seen ok. So, this brings in a, a lot of uh, advantage in using uh, your gas tables. So, if I, so for example, if I uh, have a system here, I know P01 and I know uh, P2, I want to find say P1 or the Mach number here, inlet Mach number. So, what do I do? I try to get this ratio which is P2. Since P2 and rho, rho 0 P01 and P2 are given to you and if it is assumed isentropic P01 equals P02. So, this term is 1, this term is known to you because P01 is given to you and P2 is given to you and here you from this you can get P0 P1 by P01 ok from which you can get your Mach number and hence uh, all the quantities. So, uh, if you do the problem what we had discussed uh, a few classes back or uh, in the last class. So, let us do that problem again with the gas tables. Let us see if uh, just to demonstrate how to use the gas tables, we will do that uh, again here. So, this is a problem that uh, is connected to your YouTube which contains uh, mercury and this distance is 30 uh, centimeter. This is at 30 degree Celsius, the velocity is 275 uh, meters per second. The question was to find what is the P tank if you look back uh, the previous lectures. So, the question is what is P tank 
uh, what is my m exit and your p ambient to ok. So, you repeat the process what we have done. So, it is P 1 by P 2 equals uh, P, P 1 uh, P 0 1 this thing this thing. So, this is non T u P 1 is not non. Yeah, oh, correct, correct. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, this is P 1 by P 2 or uh, you can even write in another form. So, you make it into a ratio which is known to you and then get into into a uh, into a, a ratios of these quantities which are easily uh, computable or what you can get it from the tables. Okay, so, we will uh, do this problem and try to see uh, what uh, we have done now earlier. So, my T 0 is 303 Kelvin and we have found uh, the the exit pressure which is here to be C p t 0 plus V 2 square by 2 and we obtained our exit uh, temperature to be 276 the same process as we had done uh, before. So, the Mach number at the exit is uh, 2 3 5 divided by root of gamma r t exit which is uh, 0 0.706. Now, the moment you get the Mach number at the exit you can look at the table one point four the isentropic tables because we assume the process to be isentropic. So, for m equals 0 0.706 I would get my P 0 by P. So, I will take the book look at uh, the uh, gamma equals 1.4, m equals 0 0.76, uh, the p by p naught is 0 0.721. Zero point seven two one. From this, as we had done before, you could uh, find your. So this would be your P exit by P stagnation. Yeah. So this is CP T naught equals CP T exit plus. Uh, this ok. So, the moment you get Mach number you get this ratio once you get this ratio you can easily find uh, whatever the quantities that we were discussing ok. So, like uh, uh, what we had done in the previous lecture you can continue doing this instead of using this formula we have just used the tables that is the only difference we have uh, done here ok. Now, same thing if I use this, if I know my A 1, 
if I know my A2 let me uh, okay so I know my M1 I know my M2 find A1 by A2 assume isentropic flow. So, what do you do? The moment I assume isentropic flow my A 1 star equals A 2 star. So, my A 1 by A 2 is A 1 by A 1 star into A 2 star by A 2. Now, A 1 by A, A 1 star I can get it from M 1 this is M 2 ok. So, if A 1 by for M 1 so let us take uh, this is 1.5 and this is 2.8. So, for m1 1.5 my a by a star 1.5 I take uh, the isentropic tables for gamma equals 1.4 m equals 1.5 my a by a star is 1.176 for m2 2.8 my uh, a by a star from the tables is going to be uh, 2.8 it is going to be 3.5 ok. So, my A 1 by A 2 is A 1 by A 1 star which is 1.176 divided by this quantity which is uh, 3.5 ok. So, likewise uh, with the assumption you could use uh, a 1 a star to be dividing and multiplying this ratio or p star a p 0 or t 0. Uh, to be multiplying and uh, dividing to get your appropriate quantities. So, this doing this by these ratios where which you can compute or look at the tables and get those values is the key to do uh, the gas dynamics problem with the tables ok. So, with that uh, uh, I will stop uh, uh, discussing this we will use this table from now on to do uh, most of the problems ok.